All right, so hello, YouTube, Trister Boyer, and today we took a look at the at the Change Heroes Don Goku Altar from Avatar Sentai Dome Brothers. This is the sixth entry into the Change Heroes line, and this can be compatible with any of the Altar or any Change Hero figures that you own. Uh, of course, the previous Altars, including Domo Wataro as well. So let's take a look at Don Goku Altar in its Dragon Mode. You can see it is mainly green with some gold. We got some gold, we got some bits of silver paint, and of course we got some black for the shades, for the um, trademark shades of Dome Brothers. <clears throat> very nice oriental look. I mean, very nice. Not too bad. Um, and of course you got his tail here, which is a weapon, of course, and it's, of course you could tell it resembles the Ryoko no Geki, which, is, which was Donja Goku's um, weapon slash morpher. So, yeah. So articulation, he's got quite a bit. The head is on a hinge, go up and down. Of course, the, the jaw can over, but that's going to reveal the face. Um, the front legs can swing, can swing all the way around. They can swing up to the side a little bit. Of course, the this there's a joint here. Of course, we got the joint here. So now this could twist, but that is for the robot mode. So. Of course, this could bend here. Of course, there's another joint here, which, of course, there's my only one big complaint about this is it, it these things like to like detach from, it, these things detach oh, from other so e so easily that the tail falls off. So I gotta put this back together. Oh. Yeah. All right, but of course, and. Of course, the back legs can, can bend, go forward and backward. There is the angle joint here. And of course, the tail can move. Of course, it likes to pop off. Because I don't like the way how this this is all connected. <clears throat> yeah, I can see the, so you can see the dragon was like my least favorite. But let's let's go to the transformation where I like the, the form I like the most, his Roma mode. So move the tail, pull the back legs to the side like that. Stand them up, pull these down, and bend these down and twist them. Do this on the other side. And of course, we'll bolt the head down. And while we're here, fold down the lower jaw to reveal the face and push it down. Just like that. And if you want to complete this, if you own the DX Avatar Gear Set 05, you get one of these gears, which is this one. Pull it onto the back like that. There you go. There you go, just like that. I plug the Ryuko no Geki into his hand. And there you have Dome Drug Goku Ultra in its robot mode. And yeah, he's he's not too bad. Like the nice um nice nice chest emblem right there. Nice chest symbol. Um <clears throat> and yeah, because of the dragon mode, he does have long legs. So of course for comparison, here he's next to Dome Momotar Alter. So, um, so there you go. <laughs> and if you want to go with something big, here he's next to Don Oni Taijin, the DX. Um, he comes up to about like almost his thighs. Well, if you want to count that gold bit on his head, so almost to um his thighs. So there you go. Just a little size comparison. All right, so. All right, I'm gonna move the weapon, just to show off articulation, and we'll move this. Um, now, because of the dragon mode, his head does not swing left and right, but it does go up and down, so there you go. And of course, a lot of the articulation is re is retained from the dragon mode, so get that, get that, elbow, wrist, of course I could bend. Of course, we've got a new one here, the waist swivel, of course, of course, the legs are going out to the side. Of course, they go forward and backward. There's a thigh swivel, knee joint, and a ball joint. <clears throat> so, yeah, there you go. Um, so, yeah. Now, like I said before, he does combine with any other altars, which, and yes, I'm aware that this guy is meant to combine with the Ninja Altar, which I'll take a look at next after this video. Um, but here's the box, and yes, I could tell you could tell I did bought this and the Ninja Ultra separately instead of in a bundle. 
So, yeah. So you guys see there is the new ninja altar right there. So, yeah. And of course there's, there's a piece of it as well. So, <clears throat> and of course here's number six. So, there you go. So, let's bring in the Tokyuger altar first. All right, start combining John Dragoku altar with the Tokyuger altar. Now keep in mind all these, the Tokyuger, um, the Tokyuger, Ju Oger, and Re Soldier um, configurations are unofficial. So, Again, these are all these are unofficial. So, so we'll do it the same way with Domo Batar Altar. So remove the remove the legs, take this apart, slip those up, bring those up front. All right. There we go, just like that. Okay, just like that. Remove the arms, of course. I'll put this on the front as well, which th this does fit. Let's move this up a little bit, and then there we go, just like that. Can you actually put it behind? Yeah, unfortunately, because of the jaws, that's in the way you can't actually get it in there. So there you go. Open this up, open this up, and put this onto the side like that. <clears throat> back on here we go and put the Tokyo Ultra Gear behind there so there you have the Don, to Don Tokyo Dragoku so there you go again it's just as ugly as um the Momotaro version so yeah but hey at least it works I mean it's, it's compatible at least so yeah so that is Don Tokyo, um, Don Tokyo Dragoku Altar. Now, where some people on the Ranger who work on the um, I was admins of the uh, Ranger Wiki could take pictures of this if they if they want. Um, so here are some shots just in case. So here you go. So there you go. That's Don Tokyo. That's Don Tokyo Dragoku. Next, let's try to combine the Juocha Ultra with Don Dragoku. So, so all you do, just like with Don Momotaro, remove the remove the arms, and that's it. And that's it. So, and if you want to, you can move this piece right here. Um, <clears throat> so, same thing with Don Momotaro. Remove the e Juo Eagle head, open this up, pull it up like that. And we'll go ahead and put the Juo Eagle, the Cube Eagle head onto the chest. And yes, and yes, it does fit. So, so there you go. Take the Cube Shark and fold it fold into the wings like that. And yes, this does fit, thankfully. Do the, take the line one and unfold this. Here we go. We'll go and plug this onto the back like that. You know, more because of the um the spines, whatever they're called. You can actually plug this in there, but these things get in the way. So I think it's it's best if you actually plug this in, plug this back in, and then plug this on. Oh come on! I don't know what was that all about, but all right, there we go. All right. <clears throat> So yeah, but unfortunately you can't plug the um the the gear anywhere. So well, unfortunate, but hey, at the very least it it can be done. So so there you go. So here is Don Juo Juo um Dragoku. So there you go. Now let's try out combining the Re Soldier Auto with Don Dragoku. So just like with Don Momotaro, split this guy in half. Of course, we'll set we'll set this up like again like Domo Mataro. So move that move the head, dismantle that, pull these apart, slide these two together, become the shield, and let's put it together. 
Let's put this all together. So, um, it's good. of course, you can plug this in like normal. So, there you go. Now, for the legs, you could do it like this if you want to, but that doesn't work. It doesn't look weird, but but next to the knee joints, you can actually bend them in like this. So, just like that. So, all right. So, we'll swing the side, uh, swing the arms out, and then plug this, plug this on. Of course, I plug the Tiramigo head on there. So, just like that. And for the um, where were two amigos um, um, um. <laughs> Um, um, arms and drills. You can plug them on to, you can plug them onto the um, the sides of there. So they say there's a hole right there. There's some holes on the sides, so. So you got that. Actually, I think it looks better if the, if the pegs actually face that way. Hold on, this will work. There we go, this looks better. Okay, that looks better. All right, now we're gonna take one of the hands and form up like this because this is where the shield you could you could plug in the shield like that. Now, fortunately, because of the way how the hands work, you can't plug it in like this. You you can do it like that, but the problem is it's actually pretty it's got a loose connection, so so you have to put this off the side. But we can give him the Ryu Kono Geki. Uh, actually, a, lot, a very a, you know it's a slightly cooler weapon than this one in my opinion. So. Yeah. And why not? We'll put the um, Re Soldier Altered Gear on top. So, there you go. So, here you have Don Re Soul Drag Goku. So, yeah. <laughs> so, it's kind of a, it's a bit of a monstrosity, but it still gives off that centaur design, at least. I mean, except it's a bit longer, but. Um, Again, here, here are Domo Mataro's, um legs. They go. Up, I think they plug in like this. You can see it's basically the this configuration is a bit longer than the Momotaro version. So, so yeah, there's that. <clears throat> so yeah, um, so there you go. So that is Don Dragoku. No, I'm sorry, Don Re Soul Dragoku Altar. One where they make a show off are these two are these two candy toy exclusive altars, which are the Lupin Ranger and Pat Ranger altars. So, go and swing these in, hold the wings in, and then flip the handle out. I must have twist the hand out a little bit. And oops, actually, wait, make sure you pull them up like this. So, so this can go in. Here we go. So there you go. So you can make Don Lupon Dread Goku. Of course, we take um, the Pat Ranger altar. Put the handle in. And unfortunately, because of how big this hole is, you can't, it's actually a pretty loose connection. So. But if you put it at a right angle, it looks okay. If you look at it from a certain angle. But, oh man, I think they really didn't think this through at all. I mean, at least for Pat Ranger, at least for the Lupin Ranger, it's fine. But but not the, Pat, not the Power Ranger one. So, yeah. So you can kind of do it. So you can kind of pull off a Don Lupin Pat, or Don Lupat, I should say. Yeah, Don Lupat, Lupin, or Don Lupat, um, Drakoku. So... Yeah, that's that. And here is don't and one more thing. Here's or just say like one more thing. Here's it. Here's him with the um the Lupin Ranger Pat Ranger Ultras combined to the uh, bazooka mode. Um, and yeah, you could you could kind of pull it off. You just have to get him in like in a certain kneeling posi kneeling position, like right here. And because of the connections with this, well, the, these two white handlebars right here, they're loose. So. So you can pull it off somewhat. You have to get this guy. I mean, you have to get a kind of a balancing act, which like 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 right now it's balancing just fine. So, so you can kind of pull it off with the Lupin Rangers and Pat Ranger um, altars when they're combined. 
So overall, the Change Heroes Dodger Google Alter is a very nice figure. Um, you just have to look. I mean, you, you can look over, you know, the whole long leg syndrome that he has going on because of the dragon mode. But in the end, this is not a terrible figure. I mean, he is compatible with all the past alters, um, alter accessories, if you will, you know, accessory mecha. Um. But I would say the best one out of the three that I showed off is the Re Soldier one. That's honestly the best one. Just like with just like with the Domo Matara version of that configuration. Um so yeah. Oh one other thing I forgot to point out is that this weapon has a handle right here for Domo Mataro. Which you can do that, so there you go. So you can make Domo Mataro hold the Ryukono Geki, if you wish. So I just wanna just completely forgot to point that out. Um, so yeah, this guy is quite posable, just like Domo Matara Alter, and he's not too bad, so hopefully, now if you don't like this version, just wait for the mini club release of this figure, so, or, you know, candy toy release, so, yeah. So, so stay tuned for the next, stay tuned for the next video where we're going to take a look at the, the, the Change Heroes Nin Ninja Alter. So thank you for watching, like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. If you want to follow my Twitter or Facebook page, the links are down below in the description. So, I'll catch you next time.